Hey, welcome back to ZK Master Tech. Today, we're going to do a little work on a 9530T. Um, I previously diagnosed it. It's got a bad uh, input steering device. You guys seen me do one of those before. Um, if you haven't, I'll put a, a link up here, a little card where you guys can watch that video if you want. But it also has a uh, transmission output shaft seal that's leaking, so um, we're going to get into that. But uh, I would like to thank WyoTech for inducting me into the first uh, six people that are going to be inducted in the WyoTech Hall of Fame. Um, I just can't believe it. It just made my year. I mean, I cannot believe that I'm going to be inducted into the WyoTech Hall of Fame. It's such an honor, uh, such a blessing. I am so grateful that I went through that school. Um, it's such a short portion of your life to go to that school, but it has the most... Um, impact on your future. Um, I wouldn't be where I'm at today without my training and education at WyoTech and the life lessons that I learned there. Um, so I'm going to be going back. So I'm really excited for that. And I just want to thank everybody at WyoTech for everything that you guys have done for me. Um, I am, I will be grateful for the rest of my life. But uh, on this video, we're going to be getting into the 9532 and also I got a little uh, service truck upgrade that I'd like to show you guys so let's check it out. All right we're back in the, the noisy shop where there's always a die grinder running in the background but this is my upgrade. So I used to have a bunch of Milwaukee organizers stacked in here um, for all my bolts and nuts and um, shop supplies and stuff. And it was a pain in the butt to get one out. You'd have to fight it, get it out, put it on your tailgate, open it, get whatever you needed, and then have to put it back in there. So I went with the three drawer Milwaukee pack outs. And I stacked them in there and they got this nice little locking bar, which is really nice. So. Got metric bolts in there, metric nuts and washers, standard bolts and carriage bolts, miscellaneous shop supplies. Here we got die grinder, uh, roll lock discs, and dowels, and sandpaper, and uh, some couplers for hydraulic gauges and stuff in here. And then we got an electrical drawer. We got RWAs and uh, connectors and butt connectors, electrical tape and terminals and wire and all kinds of stuff in there. But yeah. Pretty nice little upgrade. It's going to be a lot easier to get all my stuff in and out quickly. Um, I did lose my shelf up here, um, but I got my gear inch tap and die set and my gear inch slide hammer kit up on top. And I got to find out where I'm going to put all my rags and stuff like that. So, you know, five pounds of stuff in two pound bag, but over here, you can see what I used to have in there. I had, had this stack of Milwaukee organizers in there. So, those are all empty now. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all those, but uh, I'll find something to do with them. Here's the, the beast right here, the 9530T on tracks. So we're going to have to take, to get to the input steering device, we're going to have to delete air cleaner. Bye. i um, going to get this giant rock box off of here that's got some big rocks in it because that's just, you know, right in a guy's way to get in and out and I don't want to fight it. Two bolts, that thing will come off. So let's take the box off and the air cleaner out. Okay, now that the air cleaner has been deleted, we can get in here. That's the guy we're going after, the steering input device. So I just got to snip a couple zip ties. 
buddy Josh is on the other side. He's going to get the, the back bolt out for me. We'll take the top bolt. We've got to drop it down. Then there's a, a vent hose connected to it that we got to take out. All right. We'll do some snippy snip. Okay. Oh, my light's, my light's falling. All right, go ahead and take your back bolt out. You don't want to do yours, and then you uh, hold it and I take the back one? Okay, give me the wrench. All right. 13. Oh. Party foul. Oh, bummer. Party foul. Are you okay, little buddy? He's okay. I'm good. I'm good. He's okay. That's an expensive light to just drop on the concrete, Josh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to do that again. No, but they do take a beat and keep on going. Take a licking and keep on ticking? Yep. Is that the phrase you're looking for? That was it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Surprised there's just two M8 bolts holding that thing in there. How many bolts do you want? Oh, no. Okay. So yeah, there's three position sensors in there. And when one doesn't read the same as the other two, it throws a code and kicks the auto track out. And there's also springs in there to return your steering wheel back to the neutral position. You know, so you don't constantly sit there and do 360s all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So that's its purpose in life. So this is just giving an input to our steering controller that is controlling the steering on the track machine. Which? Oh, you might need that. I might. It might help. Yeah. I got a, hold on. I got a feeling. Uh -huh. You dropping stuff too? Yeah. Cool. I got a feeling this hose has got to come off. Get on there. Pretty easy to take off. And it's it's stripping, but not terrible. I've got it. Take both out. Ready? Yeah. When I drop that down, you take the vent hose out, off. Okay. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa. hey. I lost it. It's okay. Oh, it's got a... It's got a squeezy clamp oh, on it. Oh, okay, hold on. You need my nippies or...? Uh, yeah. There you go. Oh. This is what Josh calls his nippies. <laughs> the greatest 30 bucks you'll ever spend. They're up to 33 now. Oh, are they? Oh, yeah. Man, I got a deal. <laughs> this has got to go up kind of like that. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, like that. No, can't. still can't get it. I ain't got the right. Oh, yeah. Mm. I like that angle dangle. Nippies might not be the perfect weapon for the job. No. Uh -huh. But it's, I mean, we're getting there. Oh. Well, them clamps oh. just are no fun. And that thing's got a serious amount of barbage on it. Ooh. So I don't. <clears throat> okay. Wowzers. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're going out that way. I see. Yes. Got on a hose. Sure. Just in time for break, too. All right. Perfect. So we got the old one out, and we noticed when you tap it, <laughs> the springs in there jiggle. I'll tap the new one. It's just... 
Solid. Solid, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on inside there. I've had one of those apart before, and there's all kinds of sensors and springs and magic and wizardry inside those things, but... Uh, Do hickeys and thingamabobs. Yeah. But anyway, we're going to slap that guy back in. Those are fun. Hopefully I won't drop this one. Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> Wiggle that sucker in, Josh. Can we get her to where you had it before? Maybe, right there? Right there? Yeah. Oh. You know, it goes on a lot better than it comes off. Well, I mean, because you're going with the barbs. It's like putting a fishing hook in your hand. It'll go right in there. <laughs> Coming it's out, just, not <laughs> that is a good analogy. <laughs> there. Okay. It's in. And the guy was about six inches tall. Trying to get you guys a better angle, but if I drop you, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're gonna have to do this together. Uh huh. I can't see you. The shaft. Oh, oh, no, no. Not in. I, all I can do is up touch the way on. Down just a little. There? Are you flush? Kinda. Can you hold? Quickly. Alright, hold. Just a little bit longer, buddy. Yeah, I'm good. There, get yours in. Long-winded. Are you winning? Oh, I'm winning, she's just long-winded. Well, I'm gonna, where'd that line go? I'm gonna put that line back in, because I'm tired of dripping everywhere. Oh, here's your. Let me, let me get this line hooked up. Just a little. Sure. Tighten my bolt. And we're in. Installed. Well, besides the wiring. Let's Where's your plug? Plug me. Oh shit. There. There we go. Okay. Now I just gotta get some zip tieage. A little zippy tie action. And we should be good to go. Alright. We got it all in there. Got it zip tied where it can't come unplugged. You know, that's a safety feature right there. That comes unplugged. That could be a bad day. So she's all secure. Now I just gotta put the air cleaner back on and then we'll calibrate it. Okay, air cleaner complete. Now it's calibration time. Okay, so we got her into tech mode. Um, to do that, you press and hold these two buttons and then turn the key on while holding. And then I'll come up with your controller address list. We're gonna scroll down to SST. Select it. We're going to go to address 20. We're going to select it. Hit this arrow down. Center. Steering wheel centered. Now it wants this to go left. So we'll turn this all the way to the left. Counts to when it hits 9, it'll tell me a center. Return to center, right there. Now go right. It's gonna say nine. Return to center. End of calibration. Then we're gonna save it. There we go. Tractor should do steering things.
we'd get a steering code just when I was driving it around. So let's take our lap around the lot, shall we? Well, Josh, it does steering things now and doesn't set codes. What are you doing? Losing my mind, apparently. You're losing your mind? Yes. Josh is pimping this 6300 out. Yeah. Air ride, fancy. He's put an air ride seat in an open station cab. Fully rebuilt console. Oh, yeah. Oh, and our... Uh, Added a canopy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we're mocking up some mirrors up there, actually out of a, an 8R cab, because customer wanted mirrors, so we're trying to get that situation figured out. But it looks pretty good. Rebuilt whole battery station deal. Still got some wiring to do yet. But. The, uh, the battery hold down is custom. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get on the side panels. It's got a couple of these put on yesterday. Got to finish that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's looking slick. New dash. Right yeah, we went back. to digitals. Yeah, go ahead. So, new gauge cluster because the tack wasn't working around the other one. But this one, we went from analog hours to a digital. Mm -hmm. So, console's all tore apart at the moment. But we are installing air ride seat at the moment here. And then you put in a power strip. Power strip over here. Yeah. And we're in the, he's in the middle of wiring up the seat to where it's going to work just off ignition. Mm -hmm. But we did power it up and it does work. Yes, it does. It works great. The, uh, the seat cushions, of course, this seat comes cloth. So had to take it to an upholstery shop and they're putting some sort of outdoor Vinyl. material on it vinyl or mm -hmm. or something but yep. yeah cover them. so that'll be sweet oh, yeah. and the customer's gonna get the hood redone all new lights all around oh yeah led lights mm -hmm. well we still you can pan over to that there i've still got a oh, yeah. lot of parts left to put on but basically this guy wants this tractor to look brand new again mm -hmm. with a custom air ride seat mm -hmm. 
Oh, and you still got to do SCVs, right? Yes, yes. Well, so it did have a loader valve on it, uh -huh, which I converted to work. Then he sold loader and changed his mind. Yeah, so we're gonna have to get rid of those and put just one Single. SCV on, and then Single add lever. Yeah, add the leverage. Yep. Yeah. That'll be sweet. Oh, and you gotta do steering cylinders. Oh yeah. Gotta rebuild the steering cylinders because they're leaking. And new hoses. And these are fun to do. These you gotta take that line off, take the fitting out, and then you gotta get the snap ring off the rod through that hole, and then get this all undone, and then you pull the rod out of the barrel, replace the seals in the barrel. You're gonna love that, Josh. That oh, is that is a grand, grand time. That is a grand time. <laughs> Sweet. Anyway, I got to do an SSU calibration because my steering works, no codes, but it's not symmetrical. Mm. It's more sensitive to the left than mm -hmm. the right. The right's kind of lazy, so gonna have to do that whole procedure. Well, you just lean to the right a little bit. Just lean a little. Just lean a little. You'd be just fine. <laughs> All right, so it's the next morning, so I got the tractor out and drove it around. I had to get the oil up to at least 86 degrees. Um, so now I'm going to do the SST calibration. I mispronounced it before. The track tractors don't have an SSU, it's an SST. So, because um, before we went to SSC 20 to do the steering uh, potentiometer calibration, so we did that, and then I noticed the steering wasn't symmetrical. So now we're going to do the, uh, the steering motor calibration. So I'm going to go into SST address 21. Basically, we're going to run the engine at 2,000 RPM. We'll go into the calibration. Um, we'll take 10 seconds to do a full left turn and then hold the end stop. And then we'll go to the right for 10 seconds, hold the end stop, and then we're going to place the the transmission in forward and then I need probably like a thousand feet to go forward and go back and forth. Um, unfortunately I don't have enough hands to film and uh, do this calibration all at the same time but I thought I'd kind of walk you guys through what I'm about ready to do so I'll do the calibration and then we'll see uh, if the steering is symmetrical. Well I got the steering calibrated and now it's symmetrical. Left right it's perfect it's even both directions sweet okay since the steering is fixed now we are underneath the tractor i got this giant draw bar slid out of the way so i can try to get up in here but we got to get this drive shaft off and this sucker weighs like a hundred pounds so because you can see the, this is what we're going after that output shaft seal. You can see it's been leaking. So we'll take out the bolts for the U-joint. And then I think I'm going to leave it connected here. And then take it off and kind of swing it out of the way. And it can kind of sit here for now. And I got new U-joints to put on this because they've never been changed before. Might as well while we're here, right? So... And the tractor's got like 4,300 hours, so all of the, the power is going through those two U-joints, so might as well change those while we got them off. I think I'm going to take that off, set it over here, and then take the, the yoke off, and then we'll pop the seal out, clean it up a little bit, check the bearing, and then drive a new seal on. I got the special tools for the to drive the seal on. And then we'll put a new O-ring and V-ring seal on the yoke. And install the yoke back on in the exact position. Then we'll put a new U-joint on. Get the shaft back into position. Bolt the U-joint on. Then take this one off. Probably going to run a strap up to this bracket here to support it and then drop it down here-ish, swap out U-joint, lift it up, bolt it on, maybe. 
that's the plan, but, you know, things could happen. Let's execute. Okay. So we're going to use the mid torque. The snap on half inch 12 point socket for these. Like it was nothing. One by feel. There. Sure. Okay. Let's try not to get crushed today. Set that out of my way. Huh. You can usually... Oh, we're getting somewhere. We got wiggle. Oh, maybe. Get off of there. There we go. Mercy. Whew. Dang, that's heavy. Wow. Will you go over here? No, that's far as she's going. Okay. You just chill there, little buddy. Whew. Okay, now we'll take a 30 millimeter socket, take the yoke bolt out, and There's a O-ring right here, but we want, we want to get this back clocked on the same spline. Get this out of here. Get out of there. Fine. Just wanting to mark it. Oh boy, okay, yeah. Leakage. One minute. Might have to get a bigger pan. All right, let's just pull this off and let her leak into this pan. Yeah, there she goes. Easy does it. See, and this has got a V-ring seal to keep the dirt out. We'll replace that. That oil's just leaking all over the drawbar. It's a good thing I got a bigger pan. Alright. Can we scrape some of this junk off? All right, seal remover 9,000. Yeah. Deleted. We came off with a vengeance. Okay, so got the new seal kind of poked in there. I got this drive shaft right into my neck and I'm actually wedged up in this hole. I mean, I ain't got a whole lot of movement here. I kind of wish I had the shaft all the way out, but I don't, so here we go. Why isn't 
Why isn't that fit over that? It's supposed to. That's the right tool. What? What the problem is? Well. Why? Is it smashed? Looks like someone chewed on it. Doesn't fit. Well, for Pete's sake. Okay. I found a driver. It's not the correct number, but it'll... It fits over it like, like a glove. So let's see if we can't drive this home. Oh, this is awkward. I'm glad that didn't fall in the, the pan. No. Oh. Squatch is about 17 sizes too big for this hole. Let's check the status. Oh, yeah. It's in. Jeez. All right. Let's get a new V-ring seal on that yoke and stab that guy on so it'll quit dripping everywhere. Okay, got a new V-ring seal on there. I actually had to get a driver and drive that thing on and then just slip on there. So let's get this thing back on. There it's New O-ring. Okay. Let's put some Loctite on this bolt. my gun? Nope. Torch. Okay, so ratchet strap on the drive shaft, raise it up, poke it over here in this corner. Um, got a 19 millimeter bolts holding this U-joint into this drive shaft. And I'm hoping the, uh, the 90 degree M12 from the walking impact will break these loose. Like it was nothing. Can't see what I'm doing. I don't know what I'd do without this thing. Oh, don't telescope on me. Go back. Well. Come on. Oh, yeah. Thank goodness that thing got it off okay quit telescoping please just 
not enough room swinging this freaking thing. There. Man, those U joints are heavy duty. Okay. New bolt, bolts have 12 point heads. Okay, I kind of got it up in there. Got one cap started. We are winning. I had a heck of a time getting that sucker in there. Okay, now we're on the back side. Got the ratchet strap on there so I won't get crushed. Let's take these out. And he just wouldn't do it.
All right, I finally got the top ones. Now I get the bottoms. Okay. Drive shaft complete. All right, just gotta slide my draw bar back, take this thing around to the wash bay and give her a bath. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this episode of ZK Master Tech. I appreciate you guys watching. And until next time, keep that green iron moving.